Indiana's news leader. Eyewitness News Nightly starts now. A sudden shift today in the debate over religious freedom. Republicans now say they will pass a new law to prevent discrimination. Good evening, I'm Scott Swan. And I'm Jenny Runovich. John and Andrea have the night off. Tonight, the boycott against Indiana is growing. More groups say they refuse to visit. And we witnessed more protests today, including this one in Bloomington, where Governor Pence was originally scheduled to speak. Governor Pence said today he is surprised by the fallout. He wants Indiana lawmakers to give him legislation this week that clarifies the new Religious Freedom Reformation Act. Governor Pence says Indiana has a perception problem, insisting the new law has been misunderstood and mischaracterized. The Religious Freedom Restoration Act was about religious liberty, not about discrimination. The governor reiterated discrimination is wrong and not the intent of this new law. I believe in my heart of hearts that no one should be harassed or mistreated because of who they are, who they love, or what they believe. Indiana Democrats say the governor's attempt to clarify the law doesn't go far enough. The most clear, decisive, and understandable thing we can do is to repeal the statute and repeal it promptly. Governor Pence stands by the law, saying he's proud to have signed it, arguing that the bill known as RIFRA mirrors the federal bill passed in 1993 by President Clinton and is similar to the language embraced by a majority of states. But Governor Pence is calling on lawmakers to give him legislation this week that clearly defines the law. This law does not give anyone a license to deny services to gay and lesbian couples. Democrats called on the governor to do more. Well, then you should be a supporter of our idea to amend the Indiana Civil Rights Act to add sexual orientation as a protected class. Democrats say people should look at corporations like Apple, Eli Lilly, Cummins, and the NCAA that criticize the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. They clearly see something in this bill which is very, very toxic and very, very wrong. Governor Pence says lawmakers are working around the clock to find a solution. We will fix this and we will move forward. And late tonight, every Indianapolis mayor since 1968 released a joint statement asking state lawmakers to amend the religious freedom law. Dick Luger, Bill Hudnut, Steve Goldsmith, Bart Peterson, and Greg Ballard say the fallout threatens to undo their efforts to build an inclusive, caring, and hospitable city.